Little Gems Creations one. Today we are going to be working on a crochet dog or cat hoodie. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on a <clears throat> dog or cat hoodie and it's to fit a five pound cat or dog or piglet or whatever pet you have that's about five pounds. So we're going to start by crossing our yarn. We are going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go into that second chain from the hook and we're doing a single crochet. So to do a single crochet, you go in the chain, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through the two loops. You're gonna do this to the end of the row, which will give you eight single crochets. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so I've done that. We've got our eight single crochets. We're gonna chain up one, turn our work, and now we're working only in the back loop of this, this stitch. So we're working in the back loop and we're doing single crochets. We're gonna repeat this row until we have a total, counting this one, of 40 rows. So just single crochets, back loop only, chain up one at the end, turn your work. Single crochets, you should always have eight single crochets per row for a total of 40 rows. Do that and meet me back. I did my 40 rows so now what we're gonna do is we're going to attach these so fold your work without twisting we're gonna go into that uh, very first space here so my working yarns coming from here we're going to here we're gonna take our contrasting color or our main color whatever you want to call it and I just hold it at the back and I pull it through and we're going to chain up two. Now I'm going to take that white and I'm going to give it a tug so it cinches up those stitches. Now I'm going to pick up 40 stitches. So we're now switching to half double crochet. So you go yarn over hook into, see how there was a hole there? Pull through yarn over, go through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. Now in the next one, see here on the ridge, we're going into that space, pull through, yarn over through all three loops. Here, there's a bit of a hole right there. We're gonna go in there, pull through, go yarn over, go through all three loops. I want you to do this all the way around until you have 40 stitches. Do not count that chain two as a stitch. So do that and meet me back. Okay, so we have done our 40 half double crochets. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna start spiraling. So I want you to put yarn over and do not go into that chain two, but go into the very first stitch. And we're gonna start spiraling. Now we're gonna spiral for a total of eight rounds. Now I wanna show you how to count your rounds, okay? So my working yarn is here. On this side of the crochet hook, I have one, two rounds. See, cause there's two ridges. On this side of the crochet hook, I only have one round. I want you to repeat this 
in a spiral until you have a total of eight rounds on each side of your crochet hook. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so I've got my eight rounds. So like I said before, you go to where your working yarn is and you count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on this side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at a good place. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to slip stitch into that next stitch. And then we are gonna chain up two. We are gonna pick up 20 half double crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And now what we're gonna do is work in rows. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, eleven, twelve, Whoops, do you guys see that? Woo, trying to give a little piece of me with it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Now I'm gonna double check. I have been crocheting for a lot of years, but you know what? I still count my stitches. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We are not counting that chain two as a stitch. We are going to chain two one, two, turn our work. Now you're working back and forth on these stitches for a total of six rows. So we've already done one row. We're gonna keep going until we have a total of six rows. Do that and meet me back. Okay everyone, so now I have done my six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to take my scissors Cut my yarn and very gently pull that tail through the loop. And the reason we do it gently is because we're going to go back and pick that out. Going back to the stitches we didn't work. See this stitch? It's got one little thing in here. We're going to start there and we are going to attach our yarn. I just hold it at the back. See? And then I pull through, chain up two, and again we're going to pick up 20 half double crochets. Okay, 20 half double crochets along these stitches and then I want you to meet me back. So I've done my 20 stitches, I'm going to chain up two turn my work and now we're going to start decreasing now we're decreasing because this is the chest part of the sweater and we don't want all that bulk between their little legs right so here's what we do yarn over into the stitch pull through yarn over into the next stitch pull through you've got five loops one two three four five loops yarn over i want you to go through all five loops so that turned two stitches into one. So this row is gonna have a total of 18 stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna decrease at each end of the row nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so we're at 17. That means for our next stitch, we have to turn two stitches into one. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over, go through all five loops. We're gonna chain up two, turn our work, and we're right into another decrease. So I'm gonna show you one more time. Yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, five loops, yarn over, go through all five loops. So I want you to repeat the decrease on each end until you're down to 10 stitches. Do that and meet me back. decreases I'm down to 10 stitches so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach across to the back panel and I am going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two come on now there we go there we go Okay, I'm going to slip stitch to connect these two. I'm going to chain up two, make my loop big. Now, you remember where I told you not to pull tight? We're going to go back there. We're going to undo that. And using the, the yarn from the back panel, we're going to reach to the front panel and slip stitch into the chain two. And just like that. Now we're gonna pull our tail through our loop. This time we're gonna pull tight and then I just tucked up down the center so it's out of my way. Going back to my working yarn, I have the good side facing me so I'm not working from the inside. We are gonna have 30 half double crochets in this round and we're going to do three rounds of 30 half double crochet and we're going to join our rounds with slip stitches okay so i'm going to do this round and then i will meet you back show you the slip stitch and then you chain up two and you go to your next round for a total of three rounds. So if you're confident, you go ahead, skip ahead in the class. <laughs> but if you're unsure what I mean by it, come back with me, <clears throat> okay? And make sure you count your stitches. You want 30, and that chain two does not count as a stitch. Because where you did your joins there, you have the potential to either lose a stitch or gain extra stitches. So make sure you count your stitches after this round. Stitches, and I'm just, and I double counted. So now you're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain one, or chain two, sorry. So into the top of the chain two, do your slip stitch, chain up two, and begin your round two. Okay, so you want a total of three rounds. We've already done one, we're starting the second. You want a total of three rounds, and then meet me back. Okay, so I've done my three rounds, and I'm going to slip stitch into the chain two for this final round. I'm gonna make my loop big, cut my yarn, and pull it through the loop. Now, um, if you are like fancy and have stitch markers, <laughs> this you're gonna need them. If not, and you're like me, I just keep my yarn ends um, and I use them as stitch markers, so 
Okay, so we're gonna count out five stitches. So one, so from where we um, finished off, we're gonna start counting. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put a piece of yarn there. Okay. And then we're gonna count five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we want to make sure that it's about centered, which it is. So, from the five, we are going to take our white yarn. Where we put our yarn to mark our stitch, we are going to work in the next stitch over. Using your contrasting yarn, you're going to, I hold it at the back, I pull my loop through, we're going to chain up two. In the same stitch, we are gonna do a half double crochet. We're gonna do half double crochets around in all the stitches, and then we're gonna meet back and I'm gonna show you some decrease. Okay, so I ended up with my 30th stitch being where I put my stitch marker, which is what you're supposed to do. So we are not going to join. We are going to chain up two, turn our work, and now we're going to do a decrease. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, and then you're going through all five loops, just like we did before. And you're going to do one when you get to the other end. So this will end up having, this row will end up having 28 stitches. We are going to do this twice, so we're going to do two decrease rows, so you're, after this you're going to do another row, you'll be down to 26 stitches, and then I want you to work back and forth on those 26 stitches so that you have a total of 12 rows from the beginning of the color change. So this will count as row one. This one will count as row two, and I want a total of 12. So do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 12 rows. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna leave quite a long tail, because we're gonna use it for sewing. Okay, we're gonna put our tail through our loop just like so. And then this is where we start sewing things up. So this is inside in. We're gonna turn it inside out. So the first thing we're gonna sew up is, whoops, that's this, is down at the bottom here. So. First, I'm just going to take these two, tie them together, okay? So now, whichever is the longest um, end is the one I would use for sewing. So we're going to use this one for sewing because it's longer on my side. We are going to thread our needle. We're gonna pinch these together and we're gonna do what's called a whip stitch. So we just go in one side, out the other, and then we go back to the same side, out the other. And we're gonna do this all the way down. So we're just one side to the other, one side to the other, once I get down to this, we're gonna just tie them together again. I am obsessed with making sure none of my things come apart because I sell a lot of my creations. So, so here we go, we'll go down to here and then we'll just tie these together. There we go. 
And then you never, ever, 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 never cut where you're not. So I'm just gonna go up here a little bit again. A few more stitches. Then I'll cut. You are also gonna hide all these threads, okay? But I'm gonna skip ahead to the one at the top. So this is for the hood. Again, you're gonna thread your needle, pinch those ends together. I always do a double stitch when it's at an opening like this because that's where it's gonna have a lot of tugging. There we go. And then we're just gonna whip stitch all the way down. I'm not very picky about my whip stitches. Some people are like, take one from this side and one from that side and they're quite picky about it. I've never had customers complain. I don't complain. I just close her up any which way it works out. So whip stitch all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna show you a knot I use. And then we'll be on to making our tassel. So here we're at the end. I'm gonna give it two stitches. Now I'm gonna do a knot here, okay? So I have nothing to tie up against, so I'm gonna use a loop. So I'd make my loop and I go in my loop once and I go in my loop twice. And then I pull that tight. Do not cut this because we are going to attach our tassel to it once we get to that point. So hide all your other threads, meet me back. So now that I've hidden all my ends, we're gonna turn the sweater back so that it's right side out. I am going to grab my tassel cardboard. Now you're probably saying to yourself, what is a tassel cardboard? And I will explain this. I do enough tassels that I finally just made myself, <laughs> it's kind of beat up, but I just made myself a square and this is what I use for tassels. So to make a tassel, So to make this tassel, we put our thread on a cardboard. Now, I don't know exactly what this cardboard measures. I think it's probably about three and a half inches by three and a half inches, except that it's pretty tattered and torn, so it's probably not quite exactly that anymore. And then I'm using two colors, so I start to wrap them around. Now, I want 12 wraps. So this counts as one, this counts as two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once we get to twelve, we snip it at the bottom. We don't want that to unravel. Now we are gonna take a length of white. We put it underneath the yarn, and this is what we're gonna attach it to, whatever you're gonna attach it to. And you do it up at the top. Sometimes I go around twice. Do it at the top. Double knot it. Okay, then we're gonna go to the bottom. We're gonna give that a cut. Holding this, take that out of our way. So these are what we attach it with. 
So I'm gonna lay that down. I'm gonna take another piece of white. I'm gonna lay the tassel on the white a little bit of the way down. And then I'm gonna tie it again. So there you go. Now I'll probably go around twice. I tend to do that for a lot of things. And you're tying this tight. Okay. And then you're gonna snip those. And then you're gonna trim it up. Here we go. This a little bit. There we go. You're gonna mess with it until you get it just the way you like. There, that's better for me. So once your tassel's done, now you're gonna go to the hood of the um the hood of your hoodie. We are going to reach through right in the corner make sure it's nice and poked out okay right in the corner so you're going to take one strand and using your crochet hook you're going to pull it through oops now my mine are a little bit short so so pull one through and then i'm going to tie it to the one that's already that thread I said to leave there. And then turning back on the other side. See right there? We'll reach from here, pull it through. See it right? So that's the one we tied and this one is the one we have not tied. Just tie a knot there. Oh. Again, double knot. And then if you wanna do a couple extra knots. And then we take this whole mess. We leave it a little bit long. See how I'm leaving about half an inch there? That's just because I'm paranoid things are gonna come undone. And there you go, guys. We have our beautiful little dog or cat or piglet hoodie. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, I'm also starting a new thing, I'm making journals. I, I design them and publish them on Amazon. I'll put some links for those in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Bye.